first first update here on the setup at this time it's really working so 31 degree coming from uh, the, the roof and 25 going out and the roof temperature is 22 so this here is really warm water coming from from the roof so maybe the pump last time um, was not really working because of some air uh, up, up there and so I think that was the temperature here going in and out really quite the same and uh, yeah this is not the temperature here from, from here but it's now really the water temperature because again the, 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 the cooler uh, con vaporator uh, got frozen and so uh, but now here really was you see 30 degree coming in the water temperature is 25 and the problem is this thing here the, the compressor it, it gets too hot and so that's some security protection that shuts off because so now we can see put it here that's the temperature of the compressor and I think it still goes now uh, into the compressor with let's say 20 degrees Celsius and that's when 20 degrees Celsius of gas is already going into the compressor you see the compressor really it, it heats up the compressor becoming too hot and it cannot really touch it and so I was a bit surprised that the machine s stops working either because uh, even it's continuous but I don't have a you see that's a, to the freezer temperature that was also the temperature at the evaporator and that's here's the humidity but there's no sensor I think going to the compressor and so this might be a security a temperature protect um, fuse inside the compressor when it becomes too hot uh, and so you see here now it's still I cannot turn on the compressor because it's now shut off <laughs> but it's uh, uh, every f every few minutes it, it turns on and then it turns off again and so I think this is because it's too hot and it's getting too hot because here now the heat exchanger it, it, it indeed does work you see in a th 30 degree coming and and now uh, okay I'm no longer cooling and therefore the temperature it starts to rise to the uh, temperature that's coming from the roof uh, but if this machine turns on then really this gets colder and so but still it's too hot for, for this machine so uh, maybe uh, I have to take this into account that such a heat pump uh, um, dehumidifier uh, turned into heat pump is not really made for, for a, a low temperature reservoir of uh, 30 degrees Celsius which of course is, is great because then the heat pump could would not only have a COP of let's say three but could uh, have a COP of five so I could turn let's say uh, 300 watt of electricity into uh, 1500 watt of heat at let's say 40 50 degrees Celsius 67 coming from the compressor and here 35 going out that's really nice hot room temperature 24 and this coming from the roof here and that's the water temperature so really um, this machine is going cooling the water and it's still frozen here I can, I can I can touch it so I can see that down there yeah no no right now I cannot find ice ah here there's a bit still a bit of ice and so it would be this is not really cold here so cold, uh, cold water going up I'm still not really 100% satisfied with this heat exchanger. Uh, put a small ventilator here to cool the, the compressor and it should, I, I should enclose it in a cardboard with uh, holes on, uh, on the bottom so that really all the air that finally comes out here uh, gets close to the compressor the, to cool the compressor but you see when the compressor output 65 degree <laughs> then of course the compressor is also at 65 degree yeah yes 
it's it's a bit colder than, than this one. This is really uh, it's hot. Yeah, it's not super hot, and you see it's still the day, a bit cloudy today. Uh, but it is colder. But, but of course, you see when the here the, the hot temperature going down at uh, coming down with 30 degrees Celsius and going up with 25 or something like that. Then this is. But you see, it's it's okay. It's definitely colder at this one and you really when these cells go up to 50 degrees then you have a, a power decrease of about 20 percent uh, because uh, the cells do not really like uh, hot temperatures and therefore you see cooling such a, a solar panel would also lead uh, let's say overall increase efficiency of 10 percent and um, yes yeah, still some water leakage, leakage but it's um, I, I do refill uh, a bit of water from time to time, but the machine now was already running for two hours without uh, the need to, to refill. So you see this water might really be because it's open here, so I fill it so far that water water pours out. So can I can be sure that there's enough water here because the water is coming here then it goes all the way down and it has to be um, to that level so it um, pours into the, the outlet and so if it's too less then the, the water needed to, the water needed to go from here to there would be the entire pipe down there therefore the water level must be close to the outlet so <coughs> that the pump in the kitchen uh, it can only lift about four meters and it has to go I think I, something like eight or nine meters upwards and therefore the water into the hose that's going down and up must be full and the level must here be close to the outlet so that uh, when the pump let's say uh, is pumping one liter that it's enough that the one liter goes here into the outlet uh, going back yeah yeah robo son from the roof <laughs> might be a new nickname for the videos I made on the roof and the wind generator is turned off because the sun here now is way, way too much for me that's why I'm doing this uh, heat exchanger heat, heat pump to, to get rid of the excess energy and yes in, in winter time or close so let's March or November this might be really be this 1000 watt heat pump might be enough to to heat my my kitchen and my living room so okay bye bye